earlier on, the doc told you he was going to have an <laughs> unbelievable experiment for you today. He says unbelievable. I say a little bit borderline dangerous, possibly a little bit stupid. Uh, so the doctor tell us a little bit more about it. Hi, folks, doctor. That's right, Holly. This is a really dangerous experience because my friend John here is the world's greatest balancing man and he's going to balance this mini on his head. It's totally fact. Totally fact. It will be. My goodness. It is Oh, Steve, it's a beautiful day. Talk. Yeah. Where are we? Stephen, this is a secret location, codenamed the car park. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so tell me what we're going to be doing. Well, Steve, this week's experience is all about the science of balance, and my friend John Evans here... Hi, Hi John. John. Hi. Hi, Fum, uh, John. Uh, oh, hello, Fum. Yeah. <laughs> John is going to balance a mini on his head. Yeah. A mini what? Stephen, he's going to balance a mini on his head. Yeah, but a mini what? No, a mini nothing. He's going to balance a mini car on his head. But anyone can balance a mini car on his head. <laughs> oh, I can do it, look. No problem. I've oh, got a mini on my head. <laughs> oh. mm. Isn't it? Yeah, very good, Stephen. Not that many you plumb that one over there. What? Yeah. Hang on. This is... This is a, a real... It's a real car. That is one ton of solid metal, boy. <laughs> but this is still got the engine never yeah, did that's it. right, and all the giblets. Right, let's just get this straight. <laughs> yeah, hang on, hang on, hang on. You're telling me, right, we know this was making John, right? Thank but you. you're telling me that John is going to lift this mini car yeah. off this hoist that's right, with Bruce his hands, yeah, like Bruce a superhero, Street. and the power of balance, and just let go on his head. Yeah. What happens if it goes wrong? Good question. What happens if it goes wrong, John? If it goes wrong, I'm in trouble because I can't... I'm not strong enough to, to, to hold it and throw it off, and I've not got enough room to get it from underneath it, so I'm done. You're done. Basically, he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. OK. I, I, it's going great, John. I don't... <laughs> I don't know if you believe this, but he says he can really do it. We're only going to find out when you come back. As soon as you come back, he will give it a go. Fingers crossed it's going to work. Is it going to work? Trust me, Steve. Mum's the word. Welcome back to MOM. I tell you what, it's very tense here on the show. I'm very tense. <laughs> it's very tense because uh, John Evans here, um, he thinks that he can actually lift up this car, this real mini, and then take it off the hoist and then balance it on his head. OK, um, the big question is, can he do it? We're going to find it right now. Hopefully nothing's going to go wrong. John? Are you ready? Yes. He's ready. John, it's over to you in three, two, two one. one. Go, John. Go on, John. Oh, that's one ton of solid metal there, Steve. I thought something went wrong already. Go on, John. There he goes. <gasps> Go on, John. The hoist is coming up. He's lifted He's up the hoist. He's off the hoist. He's ringing it around now, Steve. He's... This, remember, this is a real car. The wind's blowing quite badly, Steve, and I know, I know John's son oh, oh, He's done it! He's done it! He's, done it. he's got a real mini on his head! Oh, John. Go on, John! He's done it! He should work for the AA! Yeah. Nicely done! He's going to bring it back! He's going to bring it back! Can he put it back on? Can he do it? Go on, John. He... Oh! Let's hear it for John! Yeah. Fantastic! I John told you I could do it, didn't I? You did! Play the big up music for John! Oh, John, nicely done. Hey, John, can you give myself a look off and lift to the station? Easy. Nice. Look off. <laughs> Excellent. I put that. I put it. I put Britain's to walk this aisle was the pub landlord and strongman, Thomas Topham. So eager was tough guy Thomas to recruit more drinkers that he would pull in the crowds by entertaining punters with his, um, fantastic feats of strength. Bravo, bravo, come on, the strongest man in London here. Come on, roll up, roll up, roll up. Come on in, roll up, roll up. Come on in, come on in, come on. Thomas Topham here, going to do an amazing feat of strength for you. His reputation for balancing enormous weights on his head, such as heavy barrels of beer, astonished his customers and made his pub famous throughout England. Right, 
Thomas Topham, the strongest man in London. Thomas Topham was no giant, but he had the strength of Hercules and the neck like a bulldog. Who else can do this? I'll buy him a fight of my own money. Hey. Thomas once lifted an incredible 835 kilos. That's the weight of a large Shire horse. This kind of 18th century showmanship was the forerunner to the modern Olympic sport of weightlifting. This culture was born, which finally led to the weightlifters of today. Yo! Got me to count. Yay! <laughs> that was brilliant, is not it? You can't. You can't. Where's your man? You can't. I'm not counting. I'll leave if I do. Yeah. Santa. Yeah. Good Santa. Good Santa. Yeah. Stick your thumbs up, Connor. Go right up, Santa. Yeah. Go on then. Right up. Okay, turn around now. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Now stick your thumbs up. Hey! Oh. <laughs> oh. One, two, one, two, you three. count, you count, you count, yeah. one, two, two one, three, two, four, one, five, four, five, <laughs> five, oh, four, oh, oh. five. <laughs> okay. Hello Santa. Hello Santa. And what does Connor want for Christmas? Santa. What do you want for Christmas? Helicopter? Yeah. I can't. <laughs>